Hey guys, yesterday while coming back, the scooter was around 41%. So I thought let's charge and make a video on how much power the scooter is actually consuming. So I reached home now, it's at 40%. I'm eagerly waiting for the Ola's charger bracket. I don't want to carry my charger all the time I'm going out. Make sure that the fan on the charger is always ventilated. Let's open the box and plug in the charger. Turning on the MCB. Inserting the socket from the bottom of the box so that we can lock it afterwards. Connecting the charger to the scooter now. Now the time is 8.2 and the battery is at 40% and the meter is at 0.06 units. Once plugged in, the scooter shows exact how much time it needs for 100%. In this case, it's 11.33 pm. Our submeter has already started clocking. Whenever I'm away, I make sure I lock this box. That way no one tampers my meter or I don't have a risk of someone stealing my charger. At 11.13, I came down to check. It's at 93% right now. At 11.30, it's at 98%. Let's open up the box to check the meter reading. It's 11.34 now and it's at 99% and the meter reading is at 2.49. Two more minutes and at 11.36 it's at 100%. You can see on the screen at 11.36 it hit 100% and the meter reading is at 2.5 units. So the actual capacity of the battery is 3.97 units. For around 60% you need 2.38 units. So according to our calculation, the so difference between 40 to 100% was around 2.44 units. So the power wastage while charging your bike is approximately 0.05. Again, that is negligible, so it's okay. One thing to highlight here, even after the charging was full, I saw that the charger's fan was still running. That means there is power wastage going on. I waited for next 8 minutes. The fan was still running. It was on full swing. After 8 minutes, I rechecked the meter values. It was up by 0.04 units. It's definitely wastage of power, so make sure to unplug your charger as soon as it is fully charged. Do drop a like if you liked the video. That's it for this one. Until next time.